Well, some have suggested that the tie never really got going in the first leg. Both sides drew a blank, but it has left us with plenty to debate leading up to this second leg. Certainly in terms of the approach either side might take. The tie in a delicate position. The winner must be identified by the end of this game one way or another. The only question is whether anybody can break through in normal time. So nothing has changed, bar the venue. The score as it was when we began. Nigeria most certainly wouldn't have expected the first leg to turn out like that. So now they're likely to play on the break and, and try to pinch a result rather than plow forward and, and leave gaps. That defence has to be watertight. It cannot, by any means, end up like a Swiss cheese. And we're underway. Nigeria are back home now after what could be a really important draw in the away leg. And the place in the quarter-final hinges entirely on this game. Danger averted for now. Shah. And it's Iheanacho. Moses. Iheanacho. Now it's Moose. Has a swing at it. It's in. And that gives them an overall lead. The first touch was absolutely heavenly, and because of it, the finish was a mere formality. Nigeria take the lead both in this match and on aggregate. Christian Atsu. Forward it goes. Over to the left. Tries to get it forward quickly. Cuts it out. Ghana have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. It will be. Aimed low and direct. Musa gets into some space. It over the goal line for a corner. And it's hoisted clear. And the cutback. Shoots! That really should have hit the net. a promising ball Christian Atsu and he's cut it out Nigeria scored early of course and it's 1-0 get that clear
Aimed long and direct. And it's Iwobi. It's the channel. Jean. Now it's Christian Atsu. Musa. Big shot going for goal. It's there. Two up and threatening to pull clear. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. So that's two now without reply. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Tries lifting it over. He slid it through. It's being played forward. And it's Iannaccio. It will be Iannaccio. Jean, and it's got through. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Gets up to head it! That's a half-decent try. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Forward it goes. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Here it comes. To throw in. Good effort, and it is right on half time. To look back on the first 45 minutes. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Nigeria in control at half time, 2 0. And we're off again. Christian Atsu. Good try cutting inside here. Aimed it, hurls himself at it! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Christian Atsu has given away a free kick. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Moses. Aimed long and direct. Oh, delightful ball. Now it's Ayu. Ayu! Try 
away. The outcome could so easily have been different. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Two, just brushed off the ball there. He's in space and looking for options. Strong punch. Here comes another cross. Forward it goes. Christian Atsu. And the shot! Tries to get it forward quickly. A real chance to break. Oh, good interception. Aimed long and direct. That is an adventurous run down the left-hand side. Pumps it into the... Great leap! He will be livid with himself. A uh, good play all round, he was well hustled and, and still got a shot away. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Forward it goes. Looks to bypass the midfield. Up towards the front line. Can he finish? Here it is now, surely! Has a hit! Dispatched clinically! Ghana are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. This is threatening to become a really good game. I think they've done so well to get back in it, but it's important now that they don't become over-eager in chasing another. They only need one more chance. Patience is key. Igalo, Iheanacho, big chance! That is wayward. Iheanacho worked a lovely solo run and effort, Peter. He should go solo again for me. Tries to get it forward quickly. Ghana are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Iheanacho making use of the space out wide. Iheanacho, Iheanacho has a goal! In it goes! And surely now, the result's beyond doubt. An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss.
two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Back to the keeper and try something new. Back to the keeper and go again. And that's it. First hurdle cleared, on to the next one. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Nigeria were victorious here, and rightly so. When you're allowed free licence to strut your stuff in wide positions, we can only see one winner. And I just really liked what I saw here.